Five things that we learned from Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest, that dramatic combat from Manchester United, guys. I am here to tell you everything about that game. The five things that we learned against Nottingham Forest. Number one, Manchester United are still struggling to defend from set pieces. As you know, guys, defending from set pieces, I've been mentioning that is a problem throughout preseason and also going into the start of the season. Yesterday, an, another set piece, and Manchester United conceded that goal. The game against Tottenham coming from set pieces as well. Manchester United being poor from that and defending that. I just don't know what Manchester United can do to improve it. We have a set piece coach, and he's not the best looking from it because Manchester United himself are struggling to score goals from set pieces, corners and etc. This has been a problem, and will it be addressed? We shall wait and see if Eric Ten Hag himself can address this and fix this, or do we need a new set-piece coach? Number two, Manchester United high line is causing a problem for the defence and also the goalkeeper because we are conceding goals. The high line yesterday, unfortunately, was from a set-piece and then the counter-attack from our own corner caused us problems as well. You even saw it during the preseason. Manchester United were struggling with the new high line. And, of course, it will take time for Manchester United to adapt but for how long will Ten Hag address the spacing of the high line and when to go and have that high line when it's time to press? We will wait and see until Eric Ten Hag corrects that. Number three, Manchester United are winning balls from the final third. Yes, you noticed it from game one, game two, game three, and sometime in preseason where the pressing from the final third you can see Manchester United winning balls from the final third as well. And this season so far, three games in the Premier League, Manchester United have regained most possession within those three games. Just apart from Burnley and Chelsea, 9.7 Manchester United have been ball recovering from the final third. So that's a good thing. That is a good thing. It shows that the pressing is working, but it's not at its best yet. And it's still a lot to be worked with. Number four, guys, Man United have a fitness issue. For some reason, our players are dropping like flies. Manchester United are having injuries. Luke Shaw, especially yesterday, you saw Casemiro go down and Scott McTominay, who's hardly been playing some football, come in and go down. This is worrying signs because Manchester United, entirely the whole squad, looks like they're just not fit enough. They can't last the 90 minutes. And I just don't know if it's Ten Hag's gruesome training. And it's having a total and effect on these guys. Because whenever Manchester United are told to press, we start catching injuries. You remember that Oli as well tried to initiate the press. And, and there was a certain game where Manchester United against Liverpool were just dropping down like flies. And you can see it now this season, the amount of injuries that we've had with players. Is it going to be a problem? Um, are they going to address this fitness issue? Or will the players start getting fit enough? Or do Manchester United themselves need to buy players who can play the, the pressing game and not have any problems or who are strong as well? Their condition is great because, again, Manchester United are having problems so far. Will they get this fixed, guys? I don't know. Number five. Manchester United are still struggling to find their striker. At times, and majority of the time, we feel like we're playing with 10, with 10 men. No striker up front. We had a natural striker, Martial, and Manchester United failed to utilise him throughout the whole game. Not even finding him, not even giving him opportunities to score goals. Manchester United's system is just not allowing our strikers to be impactful. And this has been a problem for the last couple of seasons. This was also a problem last season where our strikers was just not getting the ball, not receiving it to score goals. With Rashmish Hoyland coming in, will we see a difference? Will we see a striker that will get onto the end? Will we see a team feed their striker? Because for time and time again, we've been playing with 10 men. Even with Mark Rashford up front, we have been struggling. But that's it for you guys. These are the five things we learned against Nottingham Forest. You guys let me know in the comments as well um, what your thoughts are against Nottingham Forest. And of course, as always, remember to subscribe to Red United TV, smash that like button and share across all social media platforms. Your boy is out. Peace.